general relativity step by step. In this screencast, I might split it into two. I'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to evaluate the riemann christoffel curvature tensor, alpha, beta, not gamma, mu, nu, with four downstairs indices. And we know that that's equal to the riemann christoffel tensor with one upstairs index, beta, mu, nu, and we lower on alpha and gamma. Um, but I'm going to evaluate it to first order, so I'm going to assume that G alpha beta equals, um, I'm sorry, eta alpha beta plus H alpha beta. So this thing here is minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, plus small. It's small and its derivatives are small. So can I use that approximation to evaluate this thing here and make it a bit simpler? Well, the answer is yes, we can. So what have we got? We've got R alpha beta mu nu equals just from here G alpha gamma times the riemann christoffel curvature tensor. Now nobody can remember all of this, so I'm just copying off my notes here. We've got di by di x mu of Christoffel symbol gamma beta nu minus di by di x nu Christoffel symbol gamma beta mu plus Christoffel, these are the product terms, I'm just copying off my notes here, beta sigma, sigma summed over beta nu minus, and the second product term, gamma, it goes on and on, doesn't it? what have I got left? I've got a beta and a mu term here. Okay, well there we are, a rather sort of complicated, oh that should be a square bracket, rather a complicated beast here. Um, right, so what is the Christoffel symbol? I'm going to make the observation that the Christoffel symbol, I'm just going to say alpha, beta, gamma equals g alpha pi, it's a half of this isn't it, it's going to be di g something by di something plus di g something by di something else minus di da da by di da. Um, I'm going to make the observation this is of order h. So it's small because it's differentials of something small. And I've assumed that they're, uh, they're small. And so the whole thing, this, is of order h. So what that means, it means, well, it means several things. I'll do them one at a time. It means that I can take, if I go to red, I can observe that that is the product of something small with something small, which is zero to first order. And that is zero to first order as well. So what have I got left? What have I got left? I've got that the riemann christoffel tensor with alpha, beta, mu, nu, with four downstairs indices equals G, copying from here, alpha, gamma, times... I'm going to I'm going to simplify and streamline my notation a little bit. I'm going to write di mu Christoffel symbol gamma beta nu minus di nu Christoffel gamma beta mu. Now I just want to say that um, in my own mind, I'm I think I might have written it by mistake. I will quite often write the same expression like this: beta nu minus di nu gamma beta mu. Um, the reason being that the Christoffel symbol, of course, is not a tensor, which we covered in some, some depth. Well, it is a tensor in the sense that it makes sense to write indices in the downstairs and upstairs position, and it also makes sense to sum a repeated index. So it, the Christoffel symbol, as written like this, kind of obeys or, or, or follows or, or uh, admits the Einstein summation convention, but it's not a tensor, which is why you see it written in this curly bracket notation. I'm going to bin that, I'm not going to use that at all. Okay, so we've got this expression here, and uh, what I'm going to do is stop here, because I'm worried I'm going to make a mistake, and I will um, I will finish off this, uh, this simplification in the next screencast, so I'm going to stop there, stop.